this is after the walk back from the beach I call this the after after shot the after walk you watch the video clip of me walking away down the headland I'm 61 years old I'm puffing and panting for that 25 minute walk on sand my question is T.O. walked all the way from the from the pub he wouldn't be full of energy even after going down there through the park and they said walk down this way it's shorter and you're not going over the hills that's a lather of sweat on my forehead I don't know if you can see it and look it's already dark I'm down here at the uh, foot tap trying to get a drink of water see it's automatic tap <coughs> I'm absolutely dehydrated it's taken me three days to get here do a 25 minute filming now it's going to take me three days to get home I'm 61 years of age with no kneecaps so thank you to my friend Chris Frank Rex, uh, railways have been being nice, but they don't, don't, they don't know what I was doing. But they was get the casino at uh, six forty at night, and then you don't leave there till seven twenty on a coach because they took the train away from casino to Moolumbah via Byron Bay back in two thousand four. And then you've got to sit on a coach all the way to where I went and stayed. That took an hour and 20 minutes. And then after that, I slept through to 10 o'clock the next morning because of my knees and the pain. And then I travelled all the way, halfway out to here, didn't make it, the next day. And they probably got out here today, Saturday. I left down there Thursday morning, and this is now Saturday night. Hello? It's Saturday night. Where is everybody? It's Byron Bay, because now it's coronavirus lockdown. Now I've got to get my breath back. Now there's my cup. What's this? Push the button. It's automatic tap. There you go. Now some of you people are going to travel 20,000 k's, 10,000 k's around the world to come here and look at a dunny block. <laughs> Being funny. I'm lucky. I only travelled 900. Man, I'm still thirsty. And this is uh, 4th of November. So imagine what it would have been here the first of June, which is our winter, dead mid winter's night. It would have been about five degrees. See the palm trees? Lovely. See, I'm out in the car park now. Look, it looks like it's broad daylight. It's not, it's dark. That's a glare off, off the rain clouds. Um, so Theo would have come down and experienced the same thing. He turns the camera on like this. You get the glow from the camera light that reflects on your face. Makes it look brighter than what it really is. So it's not really that bright. It's just that the camera's near my skin. See? Where's he going? He's here somewhere. Because when I walked down the beach, I turned around and looked back. There's a guy standing up there at the handling looking at me. And he's seen I had Chris with me. So I say, when I go walk about in Australia, I don't go by myself. I always take somebody with me. 
especially around Byron Bay or anywhere else. Even out Tenerfield, Wollongarra, Jennings, Batlow, Gundagai. I always take somebody. I'm too old. If I get hurt, I'm gone. And I don't want to end up being another statistic. I'm an Aussie bushman. I should know better. And you say, well, how do you know an Aussie bushman? He always has one secret trade up his sleeve. Never leave home without it. The Slim Dusty. Go and look at Slim Dusty. He played a guitar and he always wear his Cobra hat. Australian troops wear Cobra hats. Hey, Cobra, want to give me a sponsorship? I always promote Cobra hats, but they never give me a penny. I'm just an Aussie. I just try hard, and that's all I do. I see a mystery, I go find it. You want to see more of these? I don't need to say it. You just watch the movie. You just watch the video. All right, I'll say it. Mr. Hominoid at Patreon. All costs money. Camera gear, mobile Wi-Fi units. Get in and look on the channel. You see how I do it. I take a mobile SIM card built into a Telstra internet and it uploads via a mobile phone SIM card. I set a plug it into a black cable or MBN and it goes via mobile phone SIM card. As long as I find a 240 volt power supply, I'm right. Anyway, it is raining. I know you can't see it, but I'm getting wet. I don't want to get a chill. I'm leaving when I leave up here. It's going to take me three days to get home from now. I probably won't, what's today? Saturday night. I probably won't get home and probably won't get my brain back until about Tuesday night. So Tuesday night, Australian night time, that'd be Tuesday morning. I might even do it Wednesday morning. Then it'd be American night time Tuesday night. I'll do a live stream from down home with Mr. Dog and a cup of coffee and say good day. But for now, from Byron Bay, uh, Cozy Corner, uh, what's the name of the beach again? <laughs> Starts with a T, anyway, up here at Byron Bay Lighthouse. Um, I've had it, I'm knackered. <laughs> I'm absolutely had it. So, if you really appreciate it, I appreciate something in the bank. I mean, I had to pay, you know, I can't just pick this guy here to give me a free car and a free lift and free petrol, free food and free accommodation. You know, I don't expect that from people, you know. But, you know, he's known me 17, he met me 17 years ago. Down, look down in the live chat a couple of nights ago. He said, so Mr. Hominoid, he called me Neil, which is my first name. But he said, um, I met you 17 years ago, you taught me how to drive. So now he's returning the favour, he's let me drive his car 17 years later. See, it's a small world. You do the right thing by somebody, it comes back to you. God bless you. God love you. You know, I might be dead and buried one day and you'd be watching this and you say, Jesus is a stupid old bastard. <laughs> no. I just enjoy life. Get out and enjoy life. It's too short. I feel, just feel so sorry for Theo. 18 years old and taken like that. So sad. I'm three times his age. Three times in a bit. What do you do, people? What do you do? It's another one off the bucket list. Another mystery solved, sort of. We never really know. That's just my theory. God bless you, Theo. Happy rest in peace. And I hope his parents can rest in peace. And life is what life is, and what Mother Nature is what Mother Nature is. And there's nothing we can do about it. People get gobbled up by earthquakes and tidal waves and tsunamis. And bushfires and I've just been lucky but now I'm gone. I'm, my days are numbered because my knees are gone, my lungs are gone, arthritis in the spine, not whinging, both elbows rebuilt and I'm still kicking, still trying, give me some support if you want it, Mr. Hominoid, Patreon and we're going to do another mystery and you give me a challenge, you tell me somewhere or something or somebody you know has gone missing or some place you want to see Anything you want, you let me know. Mr. Hominoid at gmail.com.
Bye.